I am Deb Walker and I'm an agri-science teacher at Sarasota Military Academy Prep here in Sarasota. And here in our garden we have traditional raised beds gardens, but we also have a large hydroponic garden. So there are some systems I would just like to show you quickly on the slide. I think it should be up nutrient film technique and drip system. These are more advanced systems that you might see on YouTube and people might want you to start with. I would not. We're going to start with deep water culture. Um, that's what I'm standing in front of. And uh, the reason I like this is that it's simple, it's inexpensive to set up. You can basically walk away from it. You put in your seedlings and then you walk away for four weeks and then they have our adult plants. You don't have to worry about power outages and you don't have to come up here on weekends and check on them. So in this system, you have roots that are dangling in nutrient solution. So the roots are hanging down and they're oxygenated by bubbles down below from an air stone. And super fast from seedling to adult is probably six weeks total from beginning to end. So I'd like to show you this one uh, first because this is, if anybody's gonna start hydroponics, this is the place to start, I think. So let's go with materials. What I use right here, I get this 10 gallon, I use Roughneck Totes and I get them at either Home Depot or uh, Ace Hardware. I've not seen them on Amazon. I like them because they're soft and their lids are really easy to drill into because you want to go, you're going to drill holes for the three inch net pots. I have all the materials at the end, by the way. So you can either have a nice hole saw, drill those holes on the top, or you can use a case cutter and it's not so pretty, but it still works. So you have the reservoir, you have your lid with holes cut in it. Then we need to get a pump, cheap pump on Amazon or Walmart, just a $10 pump. Uh, aquarium tubing, you'll see on a lot of um, uh, shows that they say that has to be opaque. You're just pumping air, you're not pumping nutrient solution, it doesn't have to be opaque. And then just a small air stone, even the smaller ones can be fine. So you're going to place this in the reservoir, hook it up to your pump, and then you're going to add nutrient solution. When you plug in your pump, it's going to add oxygen bubbles to the roots. So the nutrient solution, that's a whole not another story. I buy mine at Big Earth. It's a, a huge bag. Uh, it's 81836 NBK. Now if you have the funds, it's special order there and, and it's the best to use, but you can also get smaller versions of it on Amazon or Greenway as long as you get 81536 and it's granular and if you mix that properly per gallon whatever it's, it's going to take to fill up your nutrient solution your pH everything should be good and you're going to fill it up to within an inch of the top so you have your turn on your pump you have your pump adding oxygen, you have the lid on top of a reservoir that contains your 81536. We're bringing you indoors now to show you how exactly how we start our seeds. Um, Amazon has seeds, very inexpensive lettuce seeds. This is Butter Crunch, my favorite, and you'll find out it's gonna be the best one for you too as far as your first system. So what we have the kids do is we pour out our seeds in little cups, and we have them carefully sprinkle them in dirt then this is just a rotisserie chicken base low budget so we just have some regular potting soil we just have the kids sprinkle some seeds try to make a carpet of the whole thing because when we use more than just deep water culture i'm going to need probably 100 seedlings in, in a one day planting so then we're going to cover that with a quarter inch of soil and let and put them under the led lights which are to my right here so this is where we have all of our seedlings starting in about five to six days, you get start of lots of little lettuce. This is a type of arugula. And it's easy because it's just done in soil. If you would like to spend the money and do rock wool, you could do rock wool. It'd be a lot easier, but it's also a lot more expensive. So I shy away from this and keep that for my other systems. This is certainly the easy way to go. These lettuces then can be divided up. And it's amazing how rough you can be with them. You can divide these little guys up and separate them and then make a whole nother tray until they're ready to go, which would be probably an inch and a half tall. And then you're ready to take them outside to the deep water culture outside. So now it's time for the seedlings. That's the hard part. 
where do you get the seedlings? Because you have to think three weeks ahead of time to plant them in soil before you're ready to actually start your system. You can buy them at Home Depot, but usually they're a little old. I like planting them myself or having the kids plant them. So there's a slide of this. This is butter crunch lettuce that the kids planted. It's a little close, but that's okay. We can pull them out as they get bigger and spread them out in other soil. And when they get large enough, in this case, this is, this is kale, I believe. We can just pull it out of the soil. I just shake it off in the dirt lightly, put it in a net pot, sure it's standing up and then you can place it right in the deep water culture now you want to make sure that the level of the water is about halfway up halfway up the net pots now when you first put them in they're going to get sunburned so i just take pots and give them a little sunshade like that for the first day or so and then they should be good to go so as you can see here we have this is bok choy i'm experimenting with i'm not sure that's going to work we have butter crunch lettuce that is the best to, to, to use the best. We have basil, kale, that's another experiment. This is mint. Different kinds of lettuces are always fun. Swiss chard we're trying. So it's even fun to get a lettuce mix so that when you plant these you have all different colors um, on your deep water culture. I think one of my pictures showed that. So that makes it a lot more fun. So in about four weeks after you put the seedlings in, you should be good to go. If your power goes off so they don't have bubbles for the weekend it's not going to matter at all now if you have the money um, I would really recommend getting the pH and a TDS meter because you do want to monitor this if you have large rains or maybe your plants are getting burned on the edges you would like to know the TDS which is the total dissolved solids and the pH lettuce is pretty hardy but if you get outside of that hardy zone it's not going to grow or it's going to turn brown so this is on Amazon, I have a slide. It's $34 and has three modes, temperature, pH, and TDS. So on TDS, I like it to be between 650 and about 800, 850 for lettuces and herbs. And when you set it up, it stays there. Uh, the pH has a tendency to creep up to about 6.5. You want it under 6, 5.5 five to 6. So even though you could probably get by without this, it, it's nice when you have problems to have this and be able to document uh, what you did right, what you did wrong, how you fixed it, because you will always need to go back to that. Always document everything when you have these systems. Um, when I talk about nutrient solution, I don't use the liquid solution at all. I don't know if some people maybe have luck with them. I just find this works for me because I went to our local hydroponic farm. If you're gonna learn how to do something, you should really go to the people who, make, who do it for a living and uh, they showed me how to use the 81536 in this type of situation so I've never really gotten into the liquid that much and the other thing is after the TDS if you test it and you have a 6.6 pH what are you going to do well on Amazon you can buy pH down it's a bottle for about $15 and you really only need about four or five drops sometimes to get your pH down so the bottle is going to last forever so that would probably be the last thing I would suggest buying. Now, if you don't want to set up a big tub, um, I have six classes, so I usually have six tubs here, big ones. You can get by with little ones. These little three gallons work. Same thing, tuck me, and they have lids, and you can get, I can get four heads of lettuce in here. These I usually put five or six, but these, are, these work. And if you can see on the slides that you can move these indoors too. They do not have to be outdoors. So these grow very well under uh, LED lights, but that's another expense. But if you just want to go the simple way, this is the way to do it. And hydro season is from about October to April. That's it. Once it starts to get warm, we can't do this. And that's when I move it indoors. Okay, you can grow this in the middle of summer inside in air conditioning. But for schools, it works out well to be uh, from like October to March, April, okay? So at the end of my presentation, I put my webpage and on there are a lot of suggestions and also my email. If anybody would like a copy of this presentation, I'd be glad to send it to them. Or if you wanna send me any questions, I'd be glad to answer, okay? Thank you.